So I'm at the 11th Annual Toronto International Art Fair at the Metro Toronto Convention Centre with Laura Ortiz-Vega, who, in my opinion, has some of the most amazingly creative art that I've seen here all day. It's graffiti art, but it's graffiti art uh, elevated to fine art. So Laura, tell me about your piece. Oh, well, uh, I used the uh, inspiration from Axel Graffitis in Mexico City. Um, what I do is take the pictures when, whenever I, I, I see them, and then I work with the picture as a reference and use this embroidery thread to glue it to the, to the surface. And basically, it's, um, it's a technique used by the uh, group in Mexico called the Huichole. And, uh, so how long have the Wachole been doing yarn work? You know, it's not it's not that um, ancient technique. It's like um, I don't know, maybe 80, 80 to fifty years. Okay. Uh huh. But the work is amazing, and it was like um, a way to, to honor uh, and to appropriate the, the technique that I love. And with this subject, which are the, the graffiti art in Mexico, which is awesome, excellent. So why graffiti art? Oh, because I love uh, because I love the, the graffiti in Mexico. Well, the graffiti everywhere, but in Mexico it's like uh, like a very important movement right now. And I don't, I'm I'm not a graffiti artist, but I love the the graffiti. Uh, the graffiti, so it was a way to appropriate the, the technique to, for me. So how would you define yourself as an artist? Um, well, uh, like a crafty, a really crafty artist. Okay, um, so more, more of a craft uh, person. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, as I walk through here, the colors pop. They're quite vibrant. Is that indicative of the graffiti art in Mexico? Um, yes, but it's also part of uh, what I put in the in the um, in the work because uh, in this case, uh, this wall was uh, white and black and shadows of gray, okay. and I add the color, add the color to the original work. And a uh, very important thing is that I preserve the, um, the signatures of the of the graffiti artists, so I, like I, I like can honor them like that. So how long does it take you to do a canvas this size? Uh, well, this size in particular is um, I don't know, like ten to, to two weeks. And okay, ten days to two weeks. Yes, ten days to two weeks, and that one is like well, a month or okay. three weeks. Okay. Yes. Yeah. When I first saw this, I thought, wow, great, an artist who's bringing graffiti art to a fine art show. And as I got closer, I thought, oh my goodness, this is Needlepoint. <laughs> and now I've realized that this is just yarn, you know, uh, applied with wax and then glued onto the surface. And this is just amazing. So you. does your process start with a sketch uh, uh, and a tracing on the canvas? Yes, yeah, sometimes it's a sketch, sometimes I uh, use uh, the actual photo because of the detail. Yes. And uh, then I, I put, apply the, um, the wax. Wax, okay. And then it was uh, is the, the glue to the, the print. That's right. it. It's, it's, really, it's really simple, the technique, but uh, the results are... Um, and I love it. What can I say in my work? <laughs> Who would be your typical market? Mm, maybe I don't know. I have been uh, I've exposed this at London. It was a success uh, in Chicago. It was a success in Mexico. So do you find more mature individuals falling in love with it, or is it the younger, up-and-coming you crowd? Know, uh, I um, some uh, of my buyer or my clients are uh, old ladies. Really, really nice ladies, and other are, um, um, I don't know, teenagers um, like it. I, I love the work because it's a um, up the range of people that are interested in it. Mm -hmm. Laura, thank you so much for sharing with us your artwork okay. and how you've turned a modern, well, actually an ancient needlepoint technique into a modern art form. So thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Website. Oh yeah, what's your website? Oh, it's www.antennastudio.com Antennastudios.com? Uh-huh, it's Wonderful. So, I look forward to checking out your website and um, taking this piece home with me to hang on my wall. Oh, I look forward to you.